Hello, everyone. Thanks to the power of the internet, I get to talk with you. And with Houston Spring Fest over, I'm going to show you the deck that I brought because it's really cool. Normally, I would be using, you know, Vang Pro to show it, but this is Mushi King. So all effects are on my, you know, set orders, which we'll go over. Uh, this is the stun variant, and I guarantee you no one's going to know what this does until this video. Or they might, maybe. Uh, but I was just going through collection, and I needed to find an answer to share new, and I found this. Because I haven't lost to them since. I only lost two matches. They were both against the Lyrical in my, uh, you know, Spring Frest run. Uh, one, because I did a general misplay. And second, just because I bricked really hard. But outside of deck, that, this is a really solid deck. The ride line's really simple uh, and goes well with the orders. And let's show off the bugs. Obviously, we got the Hercules Beetle. I'll say what he does when I go to the set orders. We got Elephant Beetle. Uh, and we got Flat Stag Beetle. The other parts of this deck that you'll need are just for shield battle. I have two of the Jeweled Beast. This is because on place, you can Soul Charge 2. Uh, or you get 20k shield value, which is really good. Obviously, we want four Burrow Shrooms, because not only does it give you two 5k boosters, which helps make basically everything a 28k swinger, it also adds to the Soul, which you can use for the Crest to reveal top five to add a Mushi or a set order, aka an attack to your hand. Outside of that, we have the orders, which are replacing Yi Yi and the version that restands the Vanguard, that you discard the top and you're allowed to bring basically a unit from drop to field or a set order from drop to hand. So it really helps that consistency and field presence. And that's basically the deck. <laughs> uh, but no, what do the set orders do? First, with Hercules Beetle, we have Rolling Driver. So this always gives the grade 3 plus 10k. So it is always swinging at a 23. And at any moment, even when your opponent's grade 2, it reads Counter Blast 1, go critical. That's it. Honestly, I ended so many games like that where I would drive check a crit with this. Just going, take 3, okay, my win, next game. But it does have the added benefit of discarding one from hand and getting drive plus one meaning this is critical and drive plus and drive three basically and that's basically how many drives you're getting minus the rear guard of the restanding variant uh if you don't activate yee -Yi. and honestly you're getting more out of this exchange because you're going critical for free well counter blast one but next that goes with elephant beetle and the grade one is dragon attack so the grade one will always swing at 18k elephant will swing at 20 well 20,000 and basically soul blast one choose one of your opponent's rear guard retire it if you don't if you have another one of these discard it get two for one special this really helped in the prism matchup where if they left it out too long or really had to rush me in the early game i would retire their stuff it also helps in the sheer new matchup because it's like hey I don't have to attack your rear guards anymore. I'm just going to retire them so you can't restand them against me. <clears throat> and here is the Master of Resistance, where this thing becomes the most lethal thing on the board. Because <clears throat> this order says, get plus 15k whenever you attack. Meaning you're always swinging 23. With the added benefit, Counter Blast 2, I know it's expensive. But with a discard of this from hand, your opponent's vanguard cannot stand during the sand phase. It's stunned. How many times I actually didn't have to worry about a vanguard swinging won me games from just the amount of shield value I got or how much I little had to care about my damage. Also for stride, this means they have to give a persona ride just to stand because for many of you who don't know, 
If you stride on a rusted vanguard, it stays rusted. So they still don't get to swing with it. Uh, doesn't really help against Luard, because Luard gets the free, you know, I just shut them off of the um, dry plus one and sentinel restrict. However, Luard you can easily rush against. Which brings me basically to how to play this deck. Uh, grade one, play a flat stag or five horn because you're swinging 18, 23 without even drive checking. Followed by your grade two. If you still have flat stag, do not rest the order for the vanguard swing because it's just 15, which isn't that good compared to 23. But honestly, uh, parry, either have elephant or flag. You can just sit there kind of happily because as long as you have a burrow mushrooms or you play cat, you can soul and basically keep your hand pretty big while your opponent strides will eventually want to go up to three, so they will break that chain first. <clears throat> or if you get their hand down little enough or you think it, you know it well enough, go to Hercules, go critical at that point. Hopefully you're also dry plus three and you're sitting pretty well. Because don't forget with commands, uh, you have the advantage on units because you can bring it from drop which most decks don't get now uh just for the rear guard placement for you know your supporters uh carl called the cat behind elephant beetle because we're trying to hit magic numbers because plant tokens will make both your vanguard and flat stag after the support both 28 so you know if your opponent's grade three they need more than just like a critical to defend or even just a front is a one to pass uh, you can mix it up. I mostly found myself calling two plant tokens behind Elephant and Flat Stag for 25 and 28. And if you're going for swing operations, I would definitely do Elephant Beetle first, followed by Hercules and then Flat Stag. You can give and take on like how it is. Like if you want to convince your opponent you're going to, you know, stun them, definitely always swing with Flat Stag last. But if not, swing with it first but if you got the spare soul elephant beetle just because you're getting rid of an intercept or an annoying back row this deck is extremely easy to pilot but it takes kind of a little ingenuity to win games with it but you're mainly at the whim of the crest for that reveal five because not only are you giving your opponent information of what's still in your deck uh one of my misplays which was my round two against people who t uh got top eight <coughs> uh not only did i misplay but two of my you know reveal fives were entire whiffs of like crit 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 you know heal like all just triggers and it's just like oh those would have been nice drive checks but hey no, for the most part, uh, play this deck. It's a lot of fun. No one's gonna like know it till you're like the few of me who know it, or you know you're watching this video now, and of course you know it. Everyone's gonna think something's going to restand. Which, if you play the red OT, you can say nothing uh, can currently stand, or you know something a little misleading like that. Uh, but I honestly think just normal over trigger is great because offensively you get another crit front row so your units are already so massive you draw two and you get an additional heal but if you don't want to do this I suggest the blue OT just because you get yet something back from drop into hand and with this deck you really want to get those set orders back especially the rolling driver because just that extra drive is so important for offensive value but hey if you made it this far you know thank you for watching and you know i hope you enjoyed learning learning a little about what i played for spring fest pr probably what i will also bring to white plains if not desireful dolls maybe i'll see you there but you know keep on vanguarding <laughs>